What's up guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to the channel and welcome to FS22. Now today I have got something quite special for you guys and girls out there. I want to just say, start off by saying a big, big, big thank you to the Air Agri modding team for sending me an early access look at their new map called Bally Spring. It's an Irish inspired map, all right? And I've had a wee look around it and I'm liking what I see. There are some bits and pieces that just need leveling or tweaking or whatever but as i said still in early access not been uh not been released yet it's still it's still a, a still a work in progress but it is getting really really high up the 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 chain to be um uh, submitted or whatever they are going to do with it so let me read out a few things <laughs> that um that this map contains okay so this is a map by the um air agri modding team uh, irish connor is the name going at the front of that we have custom animals including bulls calves goats ducks and more multi-terrain angle is also a thing it's got custom traffic custom seasonal growth plan with the cotton and sugarcane has been removed um relight has been installed into the map custom sounds custom npcs the hedges are removable i know productions and sell points are in um precision farming ready with a realistic soil map um things like the um, animal pens and that they work when the land has been purchased and as i said at the start it's inspired by rural ireland and there's a little a little bit written on there as well and it says bushes coming slightly into the road is intentional so that's obviously something that happens over there in ireland but we get it here as well i mean especially the um rural parts of of norfolk yeah you i mean you get everything is protruding into the road so i i totally can get on board with that um so what we're going to do guys and girls is i want to show you a few of the farms maybe a look down at the shop have a quick look at a sell point um and see how we get on but i will be doing a a deeper look into this map on twitch so Head down into the into the description. Make sure you follow me over on Twitch. Get into the Discord as well. Follow me on Twitter. I will put out a an announcement when I'm going to be going live on this map. So I want to do something. A little bit of a teaser, shall we say, over here on YouTube. And then we're going to put something a lot bigger out on Twitch. But that will head on over here to YouTube as well anyway all right so that is that again big big shout out to the air angry modding team thank you ever so much for trusting me um with with your baby i really really do appreciate it right let's crack on let's get have a look this is exactly where you spawn in so far i just need to make perfectly clear out there guys and girls this Anything you see in this map is obviously subject to change. This is not a released version. This is still a work in progress. So, you know, anything is subject to change, okay? So, as of right now, this video, this recording, everything I am telling you is as it is, okay? But it is all subject to change. So, for right now, this is where we spawn in. We do have Fido... Somewhere. He's just gone and done one, hasn't he? Don't even care. Don't even care. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? We've got some chooks and some ducks around here. There he is. Keeping guard. Keeping guard on the house. Keeping guard on the ducks and the chickens. As I said, we start off with, with a duck. I think one duck 
Two chickens, a cockerel, and a couple of chicks, I think. We'll have a look into that in a bit. But here we go, look. We've got the little baby. It's... Oh! You trying to attack me, little one? What are you doing? So we've got little, little chicks over there. I don't think we've got any baby ducks as of yet, but we've got the one duck here. So we've got the one duck here, and we've got, uh, like I said, a couple of chickens. This is what, as of, like I said, as of right now, this is what we start with. Okay, so getting food and stuff around here is going to be interesting. You know, it's going to be interesting to get stuff around here. Whether or not we have wheelbarrows would be cool as to have something where we can just wheel some stuff around here. I mean, you can reverse down there, probably. You can get something in there. I don't think there's anything around. There isn't. So that could be quite interesting to try and get something. You can get something tiny in there, that's for sure, right? That is for damn sure. There's loads of room there. Tomo could reverse a truck around there, I am sure. So let's take a wander up here. This is... Let me just pop onto the map quickly and show you what we have. It looks like we have a total of, I think I saw 98 or 99 fields um, around. Oh, hang on. There is one six. Oh, hang on a minute. If we click into this one. Ah, okay. So these are plots of land. Plots of land. So field or plot land 12 has actually got three fields in it. Okay, so that's how that's working out. So it's it's parcels, parcels of land rather than fields in there. Okay, good. So the fields, one six five, one six five. Would that be about right? One hundred and sixty five fields, give or take. I think that looks like the highest number that I can see for right now. So there we go. Let's... All right, so if we're going to go for parcels of land, 44, we're looking at 428. So nearly half, half a million. 276. There are still fields here, though. Look, you can see there are still single parcels, which you can get. So we've got just some single fields. Oh, like 63, for instance. Half a million nearly again. So, and all around here, look, we do still have single parcels of um, fields if you want to buy something. So you don't have to, you know, 31,000 for a small field down here. 72, 18 grand. You know, depending on what you want to do and where you want to go. But obviously, being an Irish-based map, if we click into here, turn on grass, obviously, it's going to be an absolute shed ton of that but that does not surprise me in the slightest um so right so what is that massive area over here is this forestry then there is only one sure way to find out let's quickly visit up to there what we got down the back of this i can see some trees let's have a quick look it is a big forestry area, right? Yes. It is. And, again, the trees don't look like they've been put in on a spline either. Wow, look at the autumn leaves on the floor here. That's a pretty, a pretty thing to see, actually. But yeah, there doesn't seem to be... I like it when trees aren't all in a line. There's a floaty one there, people. So, like I said, don't forget, guys, these are... Um, this is a whole work in progress, so still not released. I will... Um, well, hopefully, I'll, I'll probably send them the link to the video rather than having to send them anything. So, there is... There is still work to be done, but this little bit of forestry area here is pretty damn cool. Is there an actual way in to it that would be in via the farm here? 
Maybe. Trying to work out if there's an actual road system into here at all. There probably is, but it's probably out via here somewhere and maybe down and round and in. I'm just super curious. I love I love forestry areas that um here we go, look. Yeah, so into here, into a clearing, and start clearing your stuff out. And then build yourself a farm in here, right? I love it. We've got all the platinum stuff now. We've got all the platinum stuff. Honestly, this little thing is amazing. Anyway, right, I got carried away a little bit. Let's quickly nip back to where we actually start from before we do anything else. So this is the main yard where we where we start i'm so sorry we got carried away um over here we have our slurry lagoon anyone that's been playing farm sim for more than fs22 these kind of things were in and i think these are brilliant you reverse you reverse your tankers up you know and uh if you don't want to fall in you don't have to worry you just raise the gate up like that oh brilliant absolutely brilliant i love it these things had these were all ready with the oh was it the not the not pumps and hoses it was what was it in 19 hose system or something you know and you used to be able to put hoses and stuff on and do it all like that i hope we see stuff like that again because it's it adds something else into the game it truly does um right so we've got um, a little kind of grass meadow field here just to the left let me just quickly show you in here if I just go into here and press X you can see it's a massive a massive piece of land we start with so we've got 80 81 82 134 and 135 135 is that tiny little bit there um, where we just where we just were and we've also got um 136 87. Uh, 86 87 and 88 so we've got all of this around here and as you can see this is nearly all of that apart from 135 is grass um there seems to be a big body of water here i'm kind of hoping that we can go over there and uh, draw water from it that would be grand um so we've st you've got the, the usual stuff you know some things kind of kicking about um starting equipment seems to be a tiny cultivator a three for a plow uh, we start with the... Is that the S... What is U? S... The 5S, the 145. That has a front loader attachment on it. Plus the muck grab on there. That got an Irish plate on it. It has. Irish plates as well. GG's. Well done. They have. That's amazing. So we start off with a little with the Massey, the 3670. By the looks of them, if we hop in. No, there's no hours on them. There is some dirt to them, though. There is some dirt, but we don't seem to have any hours or or anything like that on them. Um, whether or not that would be something that they might consider doing, I don't know. Maybe adding a few hours onto the onto the starting vehicles. So we have cows over here. I'm presuming we've got... Well, that's your buy point. That's your feed point. That will be your... Slurry point. So... Would that be... Mill? Maybe. Do we have a manure? Wait, hang on a minute. That can't be slurry because there's, there's a lagoon over there. Maybe. Could be. I mean, we've got the slurry tank here. I'll be curious to see for right now whether or not this can be used as a... Like a big... Uh, like a... Almost... I don't know what I... What I call it like a sister tank. Like... You know, so you can take it from and put it into there. So like a, a mass um, store. 
whether this can be used like that or not. There's no actual things around. It could just be there for show. I kind of hope if it is that they could possibly do something with it. That'd be pretty damn cool. This is an, uh, yes, this is a, um, a, a chaff. Uh, a pit. Nice. Nice little covered pit. Some more, um, more vehicles for right now. Um, so we've got the little class carrot. That's awesome. Um, wind rower. Ooh. Tedder. Wind rower. Baler. Or, or the others. One of them. There's a lot of wheelbarrows about. Can't use them though. Um, and this. This is the, um, uh, the grain store. So, reverse in. Don't know what they actually hold. Whether they're, like, multi-fruit or what. I don't know. But you got to remember that, I mean, I think these maps are pretty much made for, um, for grass work, I think. So, this is here, right? So, we are here. We've had a little look around the chickens area and everything like that. So, we or I now want to have a look up here, right? So, if we go up here, we're going to buy this parcel of land here, which is 44, okay? No, we're not, because I haven't put the money in yet. Let's just quickly throw in uh, 10, 10 mil should pretty much just about cover what we need. Let's do you and uh, you, uh, you, hello? Are uh, you? We're gonna buy you, and then as you can see, all the animal icons and that then now spawn in. So we have up here we have sheep and another self-made cow shed. So let's go quickly have a look up here at the sheep pasture because look, wait for it, wait, wait, listen, listen, come on, come on out with it, come on. No, scared of me. Too scared. But as you can see, we have goats and sheep up here. We also have, I do believe there is a ram somewhere. There you are. Look at you. Look at you. And this grass as well looks different to me a little bit. Looks a bit longer. I don't know, might be my imagination actually. We've definitely got some flowers and that growing, which is nice. A nice big pasture up here. Here we go. We've got another goat here. Look at the babies. Look at them. Look at them. It's a baby sheep. A baby sheep. Goats over here. Look at it. The pasture is massive. I like to see it. There it is. Did you hear it? Oh. Too cute. Too God damn cute, I tell ya. It's amazing. I like little bits. I like, I like to see little things like this. You know, completely unusable for right now. But I like to see things like that. It just adds, adds another something into a map. So as like I said, as of right now, we are right top right of the map. So if you buy this parcel of land... 149, 147, 150, and 151, plus your farm and your yard. All right, so everything is up here what you need. This is just going to be a standard shed by the look of it. Plenty of room, though. Plenty of room. We have another, another little three-bin shed there. Sheds for possible, like, seeds and fertilizer and stuff. Is this a clamp? Yes, it is. They are massive, though. Um, we have another one here. I was going to say a drive through but it's not really, is it? Um, is that? I thought that was a door. It's not, so we'll just cheekily hop over the old wall there. Again, maybe a possibility for some hand tools or something like that if they ever do anything. Um, again, we've got a shed here with a wall going through it. It's cool. Again, another little shed here. And this is the cow shed. And is this a actual field? 
Now, this grass is definitely longer, is it not? That is definitely longer. And they are definitely different flowers in said field. This is how grass should be. You know, really long, in my opinion, anyway. Awesome. Where are we on the map? We are there. So is that like a free piece of land or is that part of the cows? That can't... That's not... No, there's no way into it. Yes, there is. It's here. No, it's not. Is that a gate? No, that's a fence. Ah! I see. So is this... Okay. Wait. I am super curious now. Super curious. Let me let me buy some stuff here. Let me buy some stuff. I'm just going to buy... How many can we put in here? 500. They've got to go outside, surely, right? Do you know what I'd like to see? Hang on, I'm not going to say anything yet. Hang on a minute. Let's buy... Let's buy 60 heifers. Right, we can. Have, this means we can have a look at things as well. We're gonna go for sixty cows as well. We'll buy you, and we're gonna buy a bull. Buy you, boom. So there we go. Right, so you are. You're, I mean, you're not all in there. You can't be, right? That is open. There is nothing in there. Interesting. Can we? Do you know what? Do you know what I'd love to see? Silly little things, right? That. If we, if we opened that, right, the cows could come out. You know what I mean? So we could do that and that, all right, and they could come out and they could wander. And then, if we needed to, you could do that every morning. Let them out. Let them wander about. Let them out into the in the graze, into the fields. You know? And then, you want to put them away at night? Just come down here. Click this, and they all disappear. They all disappear, and they all go back in. That would be freaking amazing. Let your cows out in the morning, put them, put them away at night. Kind of thing, you know? Okay, so this is obviously at the moment then. Just if I am wrong, and anyone from the Air Agri team are watching this, of please, please leave me a uh, drop a comment and let me know uh, if anything um, I am saying is wrong, please. Right, well, that's cool. Even if that is just a piece of a free parcel of land, you can get some grass from. That would that's pretty damn cool as well. So. Right, so that's another little bit done and dusted. Now, I want to have a look down. Is it this area down here? So we've got parcel 53, okay, which is going to include 119, 122, 131, and 133, I believe. No, no, so it's just this bit around here. Oh, we're going to go over to there as well, which looks to me like another... Possible free parcel of land. So we're going to buy that for... That's 318,000, right? So that's for a farm and everything. So let's buy you. We've purchased that parcel of land. Yes, we did. So again, we've got the silo here. And random assorted sheds just kind of kicking around. Lovely little track. I love all this. I love all this. Where the... The, the, the fence posts have had a little shunt by a tractor or a trailer or something, you know. I love it. Little little details like that. I honestly, I think it really brings a map to life. I truly do. So right down here we have... Is that a little shed just... Yeah, just off to the, off to the side there. Awesome. Ah, that's what I wanted to quickly check out. I said, didn't I, up to the top here. So this is the whole field here. Now, up here, there seems to be, was it the parcel of land I saw? 
Where did I see you? Oh, you're all the way here. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Oh, you're an open cow pasture? Wait, hold the line. Let me spawn over to you. Here we go. Oh, wow. A load of... Are these all calves? Twenty animals. Nice. The field is grass as well. Oh, it's a cop no months old. Oh, bless. Oh, bless. No way. So we have a pasture up here. So is this where... Wow. All right. So I'm not very good with all of this, but does this mean... Is this just another place to have animals? Or do we actually have to kind of rear them... Will these grow into... I don't know how this is going to work. Will these... <coughs> Will these grow up and become... Proper cows? I don't know. I don't think they will because I don't think we have any brown cows of that breed anyway in game. But that's cool. A nice little pasture on a hill as well. This map. I thought you just rose from the dead. Though this map is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So this is another another little gateway into here. Look. Awesome. Absolutely brilliant. So this is a bit of a derelict kind of area up here, I think. It's, couldn't really use this. But I don't know whether or not... Because we own it, can we... Delete anything. So you can delete... We can delete that if you wanted to by the looks of it. Have a quick look in the animals here. You can purchase the open cow pasture, which is here. You can purchase the cart, the igloos, and you can purchase the self-made cow shed as well. So everything that's in-game is already here. Buildings. Do we have anything? No, there's no buildings or such. Um, there is some silos and bits and pieces in here as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, nothing in extensions, nothing in containers. Tools, we have a four post lift master. Damn. <laughs> Damn. And we have the um, mat in here as well. This is pretty cool. I like it. I really, really like it. So uh, we've got cows, horses, there's nothing. Pigs, you can buy the pig shed. Sheep, you can buy the pasture. Chickens, you can buy that as well. If you want to get bees, obviously that's all standard stuff. And the doghouse as well. Awesome! I like it. I really, really like this map. Right, so we're now going to have a look at this parcel of land here, which is parcel 23, which is going to give us 67, 76, and 22, plus this piece of land here. All right, so let's buy you. Have a quick look at you. So down here, we now have... Oh, hang on, let's quickly pop into here and have a look. So down here we have the self-made cow shed, which we've seen on the other on the other um, areas. But we also have the calf hit igloos and a self-made pig sty, which is boom, right in front of us there. That's cool. That's going to be manure, as we see it there. Over here will be the slurry point. Food and water, and then obviously we have the buy points here. We have piglets, which we are going to buy five of you. Let's get some piglets. We've got the porkers as well. We're going to buy five of you. And you can have 500 in this shed here. And we're going to get some sows as well. For five, we're going to buy you. And there we go. There we go. Oh, look at them. Look at them. So cute. So, so cute. I love the, I love the noise. I love the sounds that are in 
You know, we have the the, the tiny goats and the, and the lambs, small pig noises, the ducks, the chicks. Oh, it's really, 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 it's such a beautiful map. It truly is a beautiful map. I am enjoying what I'm seeing. I really, really am. Okay, I have spawned myself up to the sell anything area of the map, which is up here, which is just literally sell everything. So I'm presuming it does exactly what it says on the tin and you can sell whatever you like here. And there's even, there's even coffee making facilities and a microwave. If to see whatever you need, it's right here, ready and waiting. The little shed here. This, these are little things, little touches that I love to maps. You know, throw in some old equipment, just sitting around and hanging around. Little piles of bricks and stuff, especially around here in, in, in around here, Norfolk, Norfolk based at least. These things, they are everywhere. They are in farms. They are just everywhere. And I know there are a few people out there that don't like all the little piles because it's just somewhere where you can't you can't do anything with it, you know? But I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think they're a really good addition to have on a map. Now, I'm waiting for a car now. So I could be here a while. Let's have a little wander down. Let's see what we got. Little houses on the sides of the road here. Is that a water mill? Yes, it is. That's exactly oof. What that is. You caught anything, mate? Have you caught anything? Look at this. Little bits and pieces like that, I think, just brings... Brings a field or an area to life. You know? I like it. <laughs> truly, truly like it. Is there a little water source over here somewhere? What is this bit of blue in the... Uh, on the map here? Absolutely nothing. Okay, I thought that might have been like a tiny little river or ditch or something that we could have uh, could have had a look at. And as it happens, we are back to the start. So like I said, guys and girls, let's see, there's little areas here where you want to play something down. Can, I like it. I think for right now, though, I'm going to leave this one here. Like I said, we're going to have a deeper look at this over on Twitch. Get yourselves down in the into the description. Follow me over on Twitch. Get into the Discord. Get over onto Twitter. I will notify everyone when I'm going live with this. Be a couple of days probably after the video um, to try and gain some traction, try and gain some um, some interest in, in this. And then we'll have a look around it on there. Get some, we'll get some proper farming done and uh, we'll see what we can get sorted out for that. All right, guys, I just want to say another massive thank you to the Air Agri modding team. Thank you ever so much. As I said at the start, thank you for sending sending this out to me and and entrusting this in my, I want to say capable hands, but I'd be lying. Um, and, uh, yeah, you've done a, a, a fantastic job. I will have a little look around. As I said, I found a few floaty trees and there's a few buildings and stuff. Um, so... I'll probably send over the link to my Twitch stream and I'll try and point out a few things over there if I see anything. I hope that's okay. Now, but guys, I'm going to leave this one here. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this map, drop me a comment in the comment section below, all right? But please remember the four things you have to do. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, subscribe if you're new. Number three, look at yourselves. More important, number four, look after each other. See you in the next one.